So K Schulwitz. I'm using a target curve in my 7.4.4 HT Atmos system with direct bass control. Question, should I apply the same target curve to all the speaker groups, including the subs, even if my heights are incapable of outputting boosted bass? That's one question. And these curves, is direct trying to match all the speaker groups? So uh, I'm going to answer this out of order to the second one. Uh, so what it's trying to do is you've got a target curve, and then it's trying to make all of those speakers match each other within the group and then to that curve as much as possible. But it automatically puts limits on how much it's going to correct based on what the speaker is capable of doing. You actually have to use your own brain though, in addition to that, to make sure you don't overcompensate. And you can push speakers beyond their limits with Direct Live. And it's not unique to Direct Live, it's just it's a very potent calibration system in that regard. So going back to the first one, when you said, should you apply the same target curve to all the speaker groups? Here's what I would say, yes, but, this goes back to that idea where we've talked about making sure all your speakers are appropriately capable. Now, in my system, all of my speakers in each of their respective groups could have the same target curve applied to them because all of them are being base managed in such a way that whatever I'd be applying to them isn't going to push them beyond their limits. But here's something you have to remember. If a speaker is capable of, for the sake of argument, 95 dB at one meter, at 100 hertz and you've applied 3 dB of boost at that point, you didn't take it from 95 to 98. But what that means is that if the speaker had a flat response, then you can do 95 dB across the board. But if you've boosted it, now in the mid-range and treble, you can only do 92 dB. So you've actually lost 3 dB of headroom with that boost because you can't, the speaker will never be capable of more output then its max output at that frequency is. And when you use EQ, then you've, you've actually turned that into the upper limit of the system. So, you know, yes, you should be applying the same target curve across the board. You should be base managing them. What I would do is, if your tops, for instance, more than likely your ceiling speakers don't have a lot of base output. That's pretty typical of ceiling speakers and you should be applying a, a high pass filter to them. But what I would do is use a higher high pass filter on those speakers than on the others. It doesn't matter what the system automatically detects or puts in or anything like that. And this is true of all correction systems, not just direct. What I would do is I would actually apply something like 100 or even 150 hertz to the ceiling speakers. But 150 hertz is okay. You should be able to get away with that, especially because it's just for the tops. There isn't as much content going to your tops as is going to your LCRs, for instance.